Hello, my YouTube family. Welcome back to Melda242. I am Rimelda, and today I will be preparing for you corn fritters. Yes, corn fritters. If you want to see how this is prepared, then continue watching. The ingredients are listed for you on the left. Okay, let's begin. I have my herbs already cut up on the board. Celery, onion, bell pepper, and the thyme. Now I'm going to begin this with two and a half cups of all-purpose flour. If you can't find a conch or you don't eat conch, just make corn fritters. Corn fritters. Taste like the real thing. All right, that's a half cup. That's it. Two and a half cups. Now I'm going to begin this by seasoning the flour. Garlic salt, one and a half tablespoons. Now with that, you don't, I don't think you're going to need any more salt. That's why you seasoned it first. Mix well. All of that mixed up in the flour. Garlic salt. All right, just like that. Next is the red pepper flakes. Now you can always substitute this with black pepper or any other pepper of your liking. That's the pepper. Next is the, the thyme. Okay, now I'm just going to pull the leaves off. No stem this time, just the leaves. Okay. This is similar to the conch fritter. Only thing different is the conch. And this time I'm using corn instead of the conch. Just taking off the leaves. All right. This is also a favorite here. Corn fritters. Now with your fritters, you can add any meat if you wish. Whatever you want. Lobster, shrimp, beef, pork, whatever. Now this is for those who don't eat meat. Add corn, add a vegetable. Corn fritters. Next is the bell pepper, the onion, and celery. They've all been chopped up ahead of time into tiny little cubes. Okay, just like that. Oh my word, this is going to be good. Minced garlic. So we're going to add a half a teaspoon of this. Minced garlic, okay. That should do it. Give this a good mixing. Mix everything up together before adding anything else. All right. No conch here. We're using corn today. We're still in, in lockdown, so I have to make it work. Next is the baking powder. Now I'm only going to add like a half teaspoon in this just to make the mixture a little easier to, to stir, to mix, just to get it set. Next is the star, the sweet corn, one full tin, liquid and all, everything goes in. I can just get this open, remember to wipe the top or wash it off before opening it now. I can just get this open, oh my word. Knife to pull it up. All right, last mixing, and then you empty the tin inside. All right, that should do the trick. Mix that up together. 
All right. This is corn fritters. Try some. You will love these. You will love them. Tastes the same to me. My daughter loves them. Okay. Now I have a cup of water, so I'm going to add a half of it at a time. It's one half. Mix that up. Still stiff. But I'm going to add the other half. See what that does. Okay. Just like that. Mix well. I'm still bringing the restaurant home. These can be served as an appetizer or just for a simple snack. Work it. Corn fritters. All right, look at it. So I'm gonna add just a little bit more water. It is still a bit stiff. You don't want to make it too loose. Just right. Just like that. That's the consistency you're looking for right there. Just like that. Should be able to fall off the spoon when putting them into the oil. Dropping them in the oil. All right. Good mixing. This is it. Now the stove is on medium and I'm adding two and a half cups of oil to this pot. Okay, nice oil, corn oil. I decided to add a, about a cup more corn, frozen corn to this because I like it. I like to see it, um, the corn in the, the mixture. So I'm just adding a, some more corn, about a cup full more. It's frozen corn. Now you can, this is optional. You can if you want more corn. If not, just make it work with that tin. If you don't have the frozen corn, you can add another tin of corn. All right, nice and corny. Corn fritters. Smells wonderful. Smells just like corn fritter to me. Only thing is missing is the conk. Okay. Don't like meat? Make corn fritters. Oh yeah, that's it. This is Bahamian cooking. Try some today. Time to put, drop them into the oil. You can use a tablespoon or a teaspoon. I'm using a teaspoon because I don't want them too big. Now they should be able to lift from the pan by themselves as long as the pan is, as the oil is heated. You don't want it too high and you don't want it too low. If it's too low, they're not gonna lift. They're not gonna um, form, they're gonna be flat on one side. So you need enough oil and you need it at the right temperature. All right, that's it. They are rolling. This is corn fritters. Your kids will love them. Now, while that is doing, I will start the sauce. Now, I'm, I don't have the measurements on the screen right now but you can just add just make enough you don't want to make too much just make enough that you think you'd need so that's the ketchup now it's the mustard just make enough that you're going to use right then hot sauce you don't want to store this just make enough 
first for to be used the same day the mail okay i'm giving these a check taking them out and they also added a pinch of sugar to the sauce so it's up to you i will list all of the ingredients for the kung fritters as well as the sauce in the description box below so i am looking out for you it's going to be there just follow okay there you have it bahamian corn fritters with dipping sauce that's the test. Look at it. Oh my word. Look at the corn. That's corn fritters. Let me see something. That's a signal. Signal of satisfaction. All right. If you have watched this video all the way to the end, give me a thumbs up if you have enjoyed it. Thank you for watching. God bless you. And I will see you in the next one.